Okay, this is Darren with Brewboss with another tips and tricks video. I wanted to kind of discuss setting your PWRB setting, which is your boil power. Uh, that will vary based on batch size and what your atmosphere conditions are. If you're doing this out in your garage and it's 30 degrees, or if you're doing it in your basement and it's room temperature, uh, you may need different settings for this. Uh, the way to find your boil temperature is to play around with the power bar. You can see the little power bar underneath here. I'm at 65% right now. I can drag the power up and down. Remember this number that gives you the boil you want. Uh, the boil that I'm showing here is a good boil. That's what you should be looking for where the bubbles are just breaking the surface. Literally, I use the hearing test. I like to put my ear next to the kettle. I should have to have my ear almost in the kettle to hear the bubbles breaking. If I can hear the bubbles breaking from a couple feet away, it's too much of a boil. If I put my ear into the kettle and can't hear the bubbles breaking, I don't have enough boil. So I kind of use the audible method uh, when I'm looking.